Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am back with another bullet journal for the month of wonderful springy April. Super April! Yeah, fun stuff going on in April. There's a lot of fun stuff, but I feel like, okay, there's one important date, which is April 1st, because one, not only is it Easter, but it's also my boyfriend's birthday, and it's April Fool's Day. So, laughs on all of us, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so I went ahead and I wanted to do April, the month of April, as springy as possible because I don't know, when I hear April, I just think the most springy month in the entire year. That's what I think. I don't think March, I don't think May. When I think of May, I think of it's beach time, school's gonna get out soon, and then June and July, they're just the summer months, and August is just, I'm sick and tired of this hot weather, can we get into the fall weather already? <laughs> so I made my main areas where I picked my theme, and then I put my YouTube tracker, my April goals, my important dates, and my little calendar layout. So I know what days and what days are on the days of the week. So I have a little itty bitty overall view because sometimes calendars are just so big. <laughs> and I mean, even when I'm uh, like, I love looking at my calendar on my iPhone as opposed to looking up at a wall calendar because on my iPhone, I can zoom out and I can see the whole, the whole little square that shows me which days are. So I really love putting that into my bullet journal each month is just to see what day falls on what actual day. Day of the week and all right so I wanted to pick my theme as spring because I, I love spring gotta love it it's not too hot and not too cold so I pick these scribble flowers that I'm obsessed with and you probably have seen them on greeting cards so I researched a heck for them on Pinterest where I found these scribble flowers and I actually have a folder that looks like the scribble flowers. I just like that there's like a little bit of color and a bunch of scribbles around them. And maybe you've seen this with Zentangles too, but I really am fascinated and I thought I have to make these flowers for my bullet journal for April. So I did. <laughs> I really like the way that I did them because they look like upside down flowers. <laughs> and if I did not add that green right there, I don't think they could have come alive without me adding that little mimosa yellow green just all around them to accent them. I love the daisies. I love that they're in the middle and they're spreading to each page like, hello, I'm here and I'm alive and it's spring. That's how I feel about the daisies. So, all right. For the important dates, I had to get, I had to get a cross on there for Jesus because it's Easter. <laughs> biggest date at the end of the month is Dapper Day because I attend the Spring Dapper Day at Walt Disney World every single year. Well, not every single year, but it's been going on for the past three years. So I, I attended a Disneyland Dapper Day for my first day and then I got hooked. So now I attend the actual Dapper Day at Walt Disney World every single year. All right, so I write down my important dates, April 1st, which is Easter, what my boyfriend's birthday, and then, of course, <laughs> and then I'm going to be in Indiana for a while, wrote that down, and then um, 15th, I'll be in D.C. Of, in that weekend, and then it's Dapper Day, biggest weekend of April or in my spring life, <laughs> spring semester. So for my very important goals that I want to get done in April, it is to finish the set of Beauty and the Beast and then focus on my Dapper Day costumes for myself and my boyfriend because I'm going to have to do that. We're going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. We'll have to record it. But yes. So this is a fun, quick thing for me to just look over just for the future of April and just take a look, like go back and take a look and ah. Uh, I just love the vibe. It's so springy and it just, it makes my heart happy. And I'm really excited to do one of these for May because it's gonna be beachy and it's gonna be fun. And if you guys have not tried a bullet journal yet, I would highly suggest that you try to do a bullet journal. It's not too much. It's just giving yourself a plan for the month or just to get those days down in case you don't wanna run into a time conflict. I'm really happy you guys suggested for me to start doing bullet journals because they're a lot of fun. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will hit that like button if you love the month of April and make sure you subscribe for more so I can see you back in May with another May bullet journal. Have a most wondrous day and I will see you all later. Bye! Happy April!